All right, we got another review set up for you today. This time we're gonna be doing two pieces at once. Why two pieces at once, you might ask? Well, the Iron Hill uh, Soldiers, which are two dwarves, for anybody watching this that might not know, and we have a Markwood Elf Soldier. Uh, both pieces came up individually, but Weta also did a special set of matching numbers, and it was numbers two through 151, 150, something like that. Um, and you could buy them with matching sets, you know, matching set numbers. So uh, since the statues are meant to go together, I thought it would be appropriate to do the review together. Um, it'll be a little longer review because of that, because uh, I have to switch a couple things out, set them up, stuff like that. It's gonna take a little bit longer to do all this. So um, hopefully you'll enjoy that. Uh, both statues individually sold for four nine, $4.49, I think. Um, and both have edition sizes of 750. The set together was 898, I believe, um, if if memory serves me correctly. So uh, I ha I went ahead and did the matching number set. Um, I'll have to look at the base on one of them because I don't remember the the number, and I'll tell you guys that in the review. So uh, I just thought it'd be kind of fun to do this. Oh, like I said, hopefully you guys like uh, this little longer review, two statues at once. Um, it's a really neat set. I mean, I mean, I know there's a lot of uh, you know issue sometimes with the Hobbit films, but uh, that sequence from Battle of the Five Armies was pretty cool, and it's really neat to have both statues together in one piece. So let me go get those guys ready and we'll be right. All right, we're outside. Now we got everybody set up for the initial phase. There's gonna be a couple different parts to this review. You'll have, I'm gonna have talk about the dwarves, then we'll talk about him, and then I'm gonna put the two together, and you can see what it looks like if you were to combine everything and make it into one statue, so kind of go through a couple different phases um as always we'll we'll do a quick you know 360 turnaround and then we'll get into talk about the details on the dwarves All right, let's go in and talk about some uh, little details. So, got some very cool dwarven faces here. I think they're really well done. This guy here, and I'll show you in a second. You might be able to see it. Actually, is missing a tooth, and it's supposed to be missing a tooth. It's not not a, a mistake with the piece. So, um, uh, the faces are all done with the new resin, um, even though they're wearing helmets. Um, the paint on the on them is really fantastic. The armor, you know, it looks like metal. I love the the color of the skin on on both dwarves. I think it's really well done. It looks they look alive. They look uh, like they're healthy, ready for ready to kill some orc. Um, the armor is really fantastic. Let me see if I can get you a good look at the helmet here. Just really well done. A lot of very cool detail in it. See if I can't not poke the camera out with the spear here. We'll talk about that. The shield. The shield is the same on both uh, dwarves. So I don't know this. I'll show you a big picture of the the other one. But it's this you know same shield as far as same uh, you know monogram thing on the front of it. Uh, base has obviously got some environment going on. We're dealing with you know the Hobbit, so they've got the Hobbit base this time. Obviously, the environment deals with, you know, Battle of the Five Armies and what happened outside, of, you know, during that sequence of the film. So we're, we're uh, get a little, little cool environment piece on it. I just love the detailing that Weta puts into these. Like I said um, on the last review with Haldir and then the 
detailing that they do with the elves. They're not skipping out on the dwarves either. I mean, there's a lot of really cool detailing in this. And he's got the same, you know, sword sheath and stuff like that. Um, I'll show you this. I'll go ahead and show you the shield. It's a little different as far as the markings on it, but you know, overall, it's the same shield. Um, I'll give you another look at the back here. So, the obviously with two statues being one, obviously that's those are pieces that come together. Um, his arm in it holding that uh, the shield is a piece. The two spears are pieces, individual pieces. The heads don't come off. So if your heads are, you were to buy these and the heads are not on the statues, that's a problem. Uh, his sh shield up front is a separate piece. His shoulder pad, or shoulder, shoulder pad, thing in football, American football. Um, that's a separate piece, and that pops off, and there's one, and I'll show it to you. I don't have it. I have it over actually by the elf. Um, it, it, it goes on, and there's a hole in it, and then uh, that will um, allow the, the elf to slide down in there. And so the reason I'm doing that part last is because... Uh, it's a little bit of a pain to put together uh, More just because I think it makes me nervous putting them together and stuff. I'm afraid I'm gonna mess something up and break it um, So these guys are 750 edition size. They're $449 uh, And these are also sculpted by Greg Tozer who as you know did uh, Haldir and in, in, in the last review that we talked about so um, really cool pieces um, I mean, it's one of those things, I mean, like I said in the intro, I know the Hobbit films get kind of, uh, you know, I, I, I get some critique, and some of it I think is more than fair. Um, but this was a cool sequence. I think the dwarves are really well done in general. I love their looks. Um, for the most part, there's a couple of them I would have tweaked on the on uh, Thorin's company, but um, as a whole, I thought they were really well done. The armor is great. The paint on these is great. The, light, the likenesses to some of the dwarves that we saw on, on screen, you, you know, you could pick a couple out and they, these could be them, I think is really great. Um, it's just a really cool piece and I'm really glad to have it. Uh, it's, you know, it's nice to have some generic soldiers uh, to, on top of, uh, you know, the normal, you know, Thorins and Gimli's and stuff like that that we, we have a chance to buy. So this is really cool. I'm glad to have these. Uh, the spears are metal. I forgot to mention that. Um, they're really, really cool. So I'm glad, like I said, I'm definitely glad to have these. Let me uh, get the elf in place and we'll be... All right, so here is the elf, the Merkwood elven soldier. Um, really, really, again, I'll, like I said, with the, the dwarves, these, it's really well done. These, so the, the level that Weta has taken these statues to is really exceptional. Um, I just, I, every time they, they put out a statue, I'm really amazed at just how good it is versus the last one. Um, just everything's really well done. The level of detail and care that are put into these. Weta does such a fantastic job of making sure the armor looks like armor, that the leather looks like leather, that if it's supposed to be chiffon, which you'll see on Arlen when I get to her, that it looks like chiffon material. I mean, it's just, they're not leaving any stone unturned. And I think that that shows in the pieces. Um, this is sculpted by Gary Hunt. It's also 449 and in 750. Um, like I said, I bought the um, the du the same numbered set. I got I looked before I did the elf here uh, number twenty. So I got twenty out of seven fifty on both guys. Um, so let me kind of give you the little three sixty turnaround, and we'll talk about some of the details. So, clear this up for you. There's the a look at the face. 
I'll try to get as close as I can without poking myself with the sword here. Uh, again, resin material. Um, the paint's fantastic. The eyes are amazing. Um, the head is a separate piece, so it, you you know it's okay for the head not to be on this one. Um, just really, really cool. Let me see if I can get another good look at that. The uh, uh, concentration on his face is pretty cool. The breastplate, really cool, and it has that Merkwood. Uh, I think that has that Merkwood theme that we see throughout uh, the last two films, especially. Really cool detailing on that glove there. You can see, uh, <laughs> that's actually a uh, hair from the paintbrush. I didn't even notice it until it gets blown up on this phone, huh? Really cool detailing. The leather, like I said, the leather looks like leather. Really cool, really, 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 really neat. Let's see if I can get you a good look at the shin guard here. Now the sword sheath on him is part of the statue. It is not a separate piece. So you do not want that to be an issue on yours. Really cool. Look at his shoulder armor here. It's really well done. I like it. I like that it looks like, you know, separate individual pieces. Some great detailing on the on his cape. Let me come back out and give you. Here's his sword. The sword is metal, by the way, and uh, part of the hand. So that's a separate piece. Oh, and before I put the two together, here's that piece. Let me do this here. So here's that piece I was telling you about on, from the dwarves. So the hole, that's where he's gonna slide into. So having said that, that completes the Merkwood Elven Soldier review part. Let me get them put together and we'll be right back. All right, got the sets put together and you can see the elf base down there. Um, and I'll get closer and I'll show you, but uh, it's kind of a bigger piece when you put them together. So as you can see, I kind of got to stand back to, to show you. Um, the set was eight ninety eight, So basically, you know, it, it's, it's it's the same. It was the same as buying the two individually. You just got the two numbers the same. So I thought that would be kind of cool, especially since they're meant to go together.
I think that's a cool look right there from the side like that. Alright guys, that's it for this review. Now I'm going to get to take these guys apart and put them back on their individual bases and all that good stuff. Um, again, I want to thank you for all the support. You guys have been awesome to me. I, I love you for that. I appreciate that. Um, continue to like and share these. Make sure people know what Weta's doing. Make sure we keep spreading this so people continue to buy these and we can continue to getting Middle Earth statues for a long time. Um, I'm going to once again link um, our new torn Facebook group and uh, our Gemmer group below this so you'll be able to check those out again um, like I said make sure you you know you let folks know share this around I always appreciate the support you guys are always really good to me so I really appreciate that um, got an old-school retro review coming up next um, I'll leave that as a surprise I got asked if I would do an and I got something I'm going to do, an old school retro review from the old Sideshow Weta line. That'll be next. Um, that might be the last, I don't know, that might be the last review I'm able to get in before Comic-Con. Hope not. I'd like to get, I'd like to get maybe Arrowin in before Comic-Con. So um, if not, got at least one more review, if not two, before Comic-Con. That's my goal. Um, as always, guys, like I said, thanks for that. You can still get both these pieces individually. The set obviously is sold out. Um, four ninety four four forty nine for each item. Um, if I can not mess that up, seven fifty on the edition size. You can get them at Weta Workshops website. As always, guys, thanks again one more time for the support. Till next time.